What is up guys, Jake from OneHive here with the next Hitchhiker video and I have landed over at Razorback Army. I got hit me up on Twitter and being that it's an Arkansas sort of themed or at least based clan, I've had to come over and check it out. A lot of the guys from Arkansas, not all of them obviously, uh, but a good chunk of them. So pretty cool being that I am also from Arkansas. Um, looking at the clan, very cool group of guys uh, and girls I'm sure. Uh, chatted with them, 145 wins. So they only wore in three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, no war on Sunday, so you are going to get a chance to uh, take a break there if you're a little bit more laid back. And obviously, level eight clan. I mean, these guys are killing it. You know, I mean, way way up there, uh, doing a great job and winning the vast vast majority of their wars. Uh, some really nice attacks to look at, and let's check those out right now. Close one here, but they got the win. And starting off, let's look. I'm going to go ahead and show it. It is a uh, town hall ten dipping down. But uh, he's, he's not like a maxed out down old 10 or anything. Uh, 25, 26 heroes. Uh, does have the max golems and probably the extra troop space. But uh, this is the leader of the clan, Brew1010. Huge fan of the channel. Uh, so he gets a chance to be on the channel. So we're going to watch him uh, crush this town hall 9 here. Comes out with a couple of golems, a couple of wizards to create that funnel and take out some of those point defense right there at the start. I like how he waited uh, till those little sections were clear. He even dropped that one more wizard down that he needed to get that section cleared out, and then he can drop wall breakers, knowing that they're going to go right in and completely ignore those sections uh, of the base. So right there, everything's coming in. The Lava Hounds, or excuse me, the Lava Hound. The CC Troops coming out. Uh, Go Golem's working their way and drops that Rage down for his queen and those wizards. They're just going to tear through those first few defenses and those CC Troops, and then the jump to let everything into the core. Once he gets in there, obviously the king is going to lock onto that defending queen and get in there and get her taken care of. I think actually some wizards are jumping on her already. Might not even need the kings in there. But the hogs are already on the way on the sides. Coming in, obviously dropping that heal spell in that potential giant bottom spot, which there was one there, so very good job there. Drops it down, continues moving through the base with his hogs. His kill squad still up, doing some nice work in that core. Uh, and the queen on the side here, just taking out defense after defense. She's getting, getting huge value for his queen. And then right there, another heal on the opposite side where there was another giant bomb. Uh, hogs finishing off those last few defenses. And that will be pretty much a wrap. Going to have to start cleaning up and get all those high HP buildings. But he's got his queen up still. He's got a few wizards. And he's got those hogs, which is all he needs. We'll fast forward as all that takes place. So there you go, Brew. Appreciate all the support, man. I know he has done a lot to help his clan sort of transition from two-star attacks to three-star attacks. And he did swag the, the uh, spell. So he didn't really use, like, Town Hall 10 number of spells. So good attack. All right, moving on. Let's look at Brandon taking on number six here. Uh, doing it with a go-ho. Look at all those wizard towers in that core. Really strong core right there for wizard towers and, and whatnot. And I'm sure there's Teslas and bombs in there as well. So it drops the golem down, the poison for the CC troops. It was very exposed there. And then wizards to back everything up. And here come the wall breakers opening up that first compartment. He's got the jump spell. He wants to let everything into the core. Uh, but he's wanting to get these storages taken care of. So his king does not go for a walk right there. The CC troops and all that help pull him inside. And those storages are going down anyway. So very, very nice job creating the funnel, pushing everything in there. The jump spell goes down. The king is already locked onto that defending queen. She's going to take a few swipes, and she's going to be done. Nice early uh, king ability there like that. Here come the hogs, just a two-finger drop, dropping him in on both flanks of his kill squad. So wanting to protect that queen, protect the few uh, troops that he's got left in there. Uh, knows he'll need them for cleanup. So the hogs start moving through. He starts dropping those heal spells down. Everything is looking just fine at this point. Those golems in the core tanking for all of those wizard towers. Uh, so as the queen approaches and those hogs approach, completely safe. Beautiful. Love it. Uh, last heal spell goes down. The hogs all sort of converging around that expo and Tesla. And they are going to just run through that. The core just falls so quickly to those few hogs that came through. Again, with that golem doing all the tanking for those uh, wizard towers. So right there, the last defense goes down. It's cleanup time. The king was still up for a moment, but he goes down. And that is a wrap. Good job to Brandon. Excellent, excellent attack. All right, as that fast forwards, we are going to switch wars. And I'm actually going to back out because it always bugs out and crashes on me when I just hit the next or the previous war button or current war button. So let's back out of this and just go into it this way. Oops, not this one even. I need to go to this one. Here we go. It's preparation day on that war. All right, going back to number six and looking at Maximus taking it out. Really nice go-ho as well. Uh, 2021 heroes coming at the top here. Going with a stone go-ho. Uh, three golems go down. Wizards creating that funnel. Uh, taking out all those outside trash buildings. And here come the CC troops. Has the poison for them. A little late on the poison. Could have already dropped it right there. Those golems taking some unnecessary damage at this point. 
I think maybe he might not have even noticed that they came out or something. Not sure. Uh, but all those wizards coming in, a little heavy on your wizards at first. Always save a few wizards for the back end. At least two or three of those should have been held in the bag. Probably just my opinion. Uh, but obviously you get the three stars, so what do I know? Uh, coming in, the queen goes down. The king's about to go down. Those CC troops are already taken care of. There's the rage. Uh, you got to continue on pushing those uh, defenses forward. The golems are out front. And here come the hogs, again, sort of protecting the flanks of this kill squad. I guess if you are going to send all of your troops in, that's a good way to do it because it keeps them from your uh, kill squad from completely dying out on you. Uh, hogs going down. Uh, heal spells taking care of them. Just working their way through the base. That core completely wrecked by that kill squad. You see a lot of wizards still alive there. That's because of the way he deployed his hogs. A uh, few last few cannons. Uh, down there at the bottom are going to be targeted here by these hogs coming through. And then right there, a giant bomb going off, doing quite a bit of damage. And another one going, but that one pretty much whiffed. Uh, the last few defenses are on their way down. Both heroes' abilities are still up. Quite a few hogs left, even a few wizards in that core. Beautiful attack by our boy Maximus. All right, a couple more to show y'all. Let's see here if we get through this one. There we go. Uh, let's look at shot. Taking on number nine. Uh, a little bit lower level hero, 16, 19. Again with a go ho. Uh, coming at it with a couple of golems, just two on this one, so doing a shattered. Um, wizards, you know, back creating the funnel. A little early on your wall breakers there, didn't time that splash damage from the more they went out, but a couple more wall breakers. Luckily, these were low level walls. Uh, got him right in there. King and queen go down with a jump spell. Obviously, he wants to get in there to those things. I, I'm not sure about the poison spells, so they're just holding on to them on purpose here. Uh, but those right there, the Seacher Troops, there it goes. Poison spells down, but way late on that. Uh, sort of anticipate that a little bit better, and you won't take as much needless damage on your golems and your and your kill squad there. Uh, Queen's working her way forward. Here come the Hogs, sending in more of a surgical style on this one, or like a three-finger drop, more or less. But it's okay. Got his Hogs going through, taking out multiple defenses at once, which is nice, and just sort of waiting on it for those heal spells. Right there was probably a good spot because that those Teslas popping in the core, um, Probably could have combined those two into one heal spell, but still very, very nice coming through protecting his hogs as they go through that core in that Tesla farm. And then right here on the backside, dropping that last heal spell down around right that high HP expo. Very smart. Uh, those last few point defense are going to be going down. And double bomb though. Ooh, a little bit of bacon. Not fully because the, some of the hogs were coming through at the top, but they are low health. Uh, those pesky skeletons beating on them. Got to run over here and take out this last archer tower right there. Gets it done and then turns on the skeletons. Gets them taken care of and it's cleanup time. So really nice attack by shot. Uh, it was just those few little tweaks. I think it had been just a little cleaner, but very, very nice attack. All right, let's look at one more. Uh, this clan, I don't know if I mentioned it or not. They're accepting... Uh, you know, Town Hall 8 through 10, and if you, you might even sneak in as a Town Hall 7, you know, if you've got, if you're close to upgrading and whatnot. So, uh, a lot of opportunity here for this clan. Very active, very good war clan. Uh, so, if you don't really meet the requirements of some of the others, this might be a good fit for you. Again, a little heavy on the, on the wizards, I think, at first for this attack, but I do like it. The witch, the wizards, the golem, all of that come in on this Town Hall 8 attack. Uh, right at the base there, just opening up with some wall breakers and then continuing on, uh, dropping that heal spell down, keeping those wizards and those witches, uh, all of that up alive. Come back in it with an, um, oh, this is actually a, it's actually looks to be a town hall. He dropped a golem out of that CC. So it has to be a town hall nine, but only had three spells, maybe a brand new one. I'm not sure. Might be the only thing he's upgraded so far. That's all right. Golem coming in, it didn't do a lot anyways. Hogs working their way through. He does have the max talk, so I should have caught that, but no big deal. Uh, kept working his way through, dropping the heal spells, uh, just absolutely crushing this base. You see those hogs are really low health to get hit with that giant bomb, but as they come back up, they get inside this heal spell and saves them, and that's going to get him the three-star as they work their way through the rest of the base. That bomb is sort of a strange spot there, uh, and luckily that was not a defense that could hurt them down low. It was just that air sweeper. As they close in on those last few Teslas and that cannon up there, he's going to get the three-star. Beautiful attack by Crow. Krogo, Town Hall 8, I don't need more, huh, Krogo, Krogo 8.5. All right, there you go, guys. Uh, Razorback uh, Army, killing it, doing a great job. Excellent, excellent war clan. Check them out if you're looking uh, for, a, for a new clan. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, Jake from One Hive doing my best to help you guys suck less.